Hey folks, welcome to the Knight Rider video podcast. Today is January 9th, 2020, and we are in the Holyoke Public Schools Media Center. This is our first podcast of 2020, and we are trying to do these every two weeks on our YouTube page and also on uh, the Holyoke Public Schools YouTube channel as well. So let's talk about what's going on at Holyoke High School. Oh boy. Recent events in school, we have a few things to talk about, right? Mm-hmm. So we want to start with. Uh, let me think. <laughs> well, let's just talk about a great fundraiser that the business club had two nights ago at Texas Roadhouse in Hadley. We had a number of students that came out and supported it. Hannah uh, planned a great fundraiser, uh, the director of fundraising for the business club, and uh, we had a lot of students that came out with their friends, their family, and uh, it was uh, it was great to great to be part of that. Mm. I really enjoyed that. When, when can we expect our next business club fundraiser? Oh, well, let's. Uh, we are actually actively planning two other fundraisers. So we, we usually just do one or two fundraisers a year. This year has been different. Uh, we've already done three. We're planning the fourth and fifth one. So it's Never been a settle. great year. What's that? Never settle. Never no, we don't settle. We, we have a hashtag. Do you know what the hashtag is? <laughs> We mean business. We mean business. We mean business. Yeah, we mean. We don't do business. We mean mean business. Um, So we're we're planning a um, we're planning one with uh, Krispy Kreme, and we're planning one with uh, with Buffalo Wild Wings as well. So we're gonna hopefully have five. We will have five. Fantastic. At least five, probably more. It's it's really good. Great establishment. I love Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, they don't pay for this, so you don't have to say that. <laughs> They're not our sponsor. But we do I'm love just, Krispy Kreme. I'm just putting in my two cents. Oh, we do yeah. love Krispy Kreme. I, I One do location love Krispy in the Kreme. Yeah. Um, oh, God, they're so good. <laughs> um, what else do we want to talk about? What else is going on besides me shamelessly pl- plugging the business shamelessly club? Department. We need to have that at least once. Yeah. Like a and place. by the way, it's not just fundraising that we do. We also do a community service event every year. We, we, we did the Autism Awareness Walk last year at National Reservoir. And we do great business club field trips. We've never we left do. New England. We went to uh, New York City for the first time last year and Boston. We went to New York City and Boston last year. We went to Wall Street. It's a lot of fun. We're going to go back to the financial district in New York this year. So yeah. In Boston, we're going to go back. So. So. What yeah. else is going on? Folks, let's see. Good, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> I can keep for, plugging the business club if you want. If, if really, we can talk about how seniors have gone accepting to college and also receive scholarships. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about that. We have a lot of seniors that have been accepted and got scholarships. Who, who are they? Well, a lot of seniors got um, the uh, MCAS, the uh, MCAS <laughs> award, for the um, John a- Abigail Adams scholarship. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's impressive for the MCAS. Yeah, yeah. that is imp- impressive yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he doesn't want to say it, but Jack got in Harvard. <laughs> so yeah. let's just let's just kind of yeah. say let's just get that out that's there. A big deal. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I think, think you're gonna love Harvard. I'm also uh, a former I graduate, think... so you're just kind of. <laughs> oh um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it'll be in my dorm. No, I'm just I wasn't there. I, I did not go to Harvard. No. Yeah. No, I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy yeah. for you. I, I don't I don't remember the last time. What's that? We had a Holyoke High student go to Harvard. We had one go to Yale a few years ago. I mean, yeah, really? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, because when when I was in the four years I was in high school, I think we only had one person that went to Harvard. So yeah, that's that's a great accomplishment. Yeah. Great accomplishment. Okay. Well, I couldn't have done it without the great staff of the Holyoke Public oh. Schools. Thank you, including much. Mr. Baru. Thank you so much. Including Mr. Baru. Wow. All right. I have to update my grade book later today. Okay. Thank you. No one's laughing. That was a good one. Really? Seriously? Come on. It's a tired. The day laugh today. track's not on. That's why you couldn't hear it. They were all cracking up. Yeah. Uh-huh. What else Bugged. is going on? What else is going on? Seniors getting scholarships and going into winter getting accepted. Sports? Yeah. Yeah. Winter sports. Winter sports. Well. We might as well transition into wrestling. Uh, we were going to talk about that. Let's talk yeah, about wrestling. Sure. We have a member of the wrestling team here, Ishani. The only one on the team that's a girl. Yes. Yeah. The only Big female deal. athlete on the wrestling team. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of good things that we're looking up to with this um, season going on. So far, really, we're trying to change like the culture of the wrestling team. We're definitely trying to just build and like develop better people mm-hmm. as like we go on through the season because wrestling is a really tough, gritty, dirty sport. 
technically like it's always just like working really hard three hour practices pretty much every day then we have to like compete make weight it's just like it's a really hard like feet to go through and then plus school and then having to deal with like other aspects of your life like with friendships relationships and all that stuff mm -hmm. to just deal with the day to day it's, it can be really hard but really what we're trying to do now is to just like build off of what we can do to make the people just better all around so we're definitely including a lot of good things into our regimen into our schedule and all that and it's just looking up so far it's really good we actually have a few fundraisers going on actually a lot of the wrestling team if you look out um if you if anyone knows any wrestlers like your friends or whatnot we have one fundraiser going out we're selling bracelets holy kai wrestling bracelets we're selling those and then we're also selling holy kai mugs those are going out for twenty dollars so if anything contact me or you see me in the hallways just ask me i'll we'll sell them and i'll supply like a picture and all that if you want to see what they look like and then we're also selling raffle tickets for our upcoming senior night which is the 17th next week on friday that'll be something that we're going to look up to we have a try me against minichok and smith volk and that's at dean campus correct? yep that's going to be at dean campus so yeah well, it's amazing you're doing a lot of great things on the wrestling team that's really really excellent so let's just talk about your team and they're, they're, all their matches are on our other campus at Dean, right? Is mm -hmm. that correct? None of the matches are at our campus right here, right? No. Okay. We're going to have them at Dean campus. They're actually yeah. our senior night next Friday, like okay. said, the 17th. And then we have one before that on a Wednesday next week, same week. It's going to be um, against East Long Meadow. Oh, okay. Excellent. So how many Dean campus students are on the team? And how many uh, North campus students are on the team? I would say maybe about... Is it, is it pretty even? It's pretty even. We have more North kids. Okay. Well, that's true. There's more yeah. North students. Yeah, yeah more North students. But I would say we have about like five to five to seven around that number from Dean and that's all that. Great. But it's really it's really good having like both kids mm -hmm. from Dean and North, and then we all pretty much just come together. We always go to Dean's to go practice and all that. And it's just good that's having great. both schools be included in one that we have like our own little poster board over at um, Dean campus, which is good to like include the students because you know two separate campuses but really we're all just one school so exactly. it's good to have that little like family camaraderie that's awesome that's great yeah I'm, for sure i'm glad yeah. things are going so well on the wrestling team so good luck to you for the rest of the season thank you and uh let's talk about three kings day we just okay. had three kings day mm -hmm. and uh did anyone celebrate think three kings day i did okay mm -hmm. how was it yeah, it was pretty nice you know uh, like uh me and my siblings got a couple gifts. It was really nice. Got like a figure from my childhood, so pretty nice. What do you do in your celebration of Three Kings Day? Yeah, I know I that. don't. I don't participate mm -hmm. in Three Kings Day myself. Yeah. Uh, to yeah, sum to sum it up, it is basically a mini Christmas, basically. Uh, but looking at it now, it's a pretty weird tradition, just how you have to do it. But you get boxes, put something in there, like eater oats or something. Um, and then next day, you know, you wake up, you go downstairs, and like just a couple of gifts there that you can get. Um, not as like as a big as a celebration as Christmas. It's not like a national thing, but it's just a nice family thing to do. You know, usually hang out with your family. You know, talk about stuff, get ready for New Year. It's pretty nice. Do you celebrate Christmas as well along with that? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, okay. So you can celebrate Christmas, and then a week after you get free kings. So it's pretty nice. You know, have something to do in January. I wish I got like extra gifts. Yeah. <laughs> now you just wake up, you just go again. Round two. Yeah. 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 Second Christmas. <laughs> Pretty nice. It's a little small thing, but it's good. Yeah. How was your uh, guys' New Year's? <laughs> it's good. How were how were your New Year's? I had a good, I had a good New Year's, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love watching the ball drop. It's pretty cool. I didn't actually watch that this year. I watch it every other year, but oh god, I don't know why I was very tired that day. Yeah, what I day was that? I would say that too. New Year's Eve or New Year's, New Year's Day? Eve. Uh, New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. <laughs> like, I was just very tired that day, probably because stuff at home. Like, got a new dog recently, and he's like, oh, <laughs> causing havoc. So I was just like, oh, God. You want two more dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I already have two more dogs. Or had them. Do you guys have any, like, New Year's resolutions? <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about New Year's You know what? <laughs> I always do that, but I just realized I didn't make one this year. What? I did the too late. Thing. I made resolutions like no. on I never New thought Year's about Day. this. 
I you did. What did I you um so I'm not really a big resolution guy because like I think you should just constantly be improving as a human being. Sorry. You shouldn't need a year to have an excuse for that. Mm -hmm. But I was just like for the heck of it. I was like, you know what? This year, I want to learn do I want to learn to do something cool. Like either play piano or like speak Spanish, That's like cool another language. Skill. Yeah, a cool mm -hmm. new skill yeah. is like. Yeah, just to you know, spice things up. Yeah, I need to learn some Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Anyone else have any? I didn't really make a... I never really do, like, a whole resolution thing, as you kind of said. Mm -hmm. I just kind of just... I just try to improve myself in different ways you know, throughout the year, but in January, it's a good place to start. I think yeah. so. Yeah, it's like, with, like... Like, for me, at least, like, when I feel like with New Year's resolutions, I always have them set, like... Or at least, like, with my family, like, when we talk about that stuff, or at least with, like, my older, like, grown folk talk when they're talking, like, at the table or something like that when it's New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. and we're all, like, together talking about, oh, I want to lose weight, I want to, like, read five books this year, or, like, like, all that other stuff. Like, I feel it's always just, like, sometimes it can always just be set up to just them wanting to do it, and then it just, like, kind of never happens. Like, kind of like a broken promise. Like, it's just yeah. there for them to, like, want to do it. Of course, I always feel like you should never just, like, make that one or just write that one thing down. You should always just, like, always try to do it and just include it, like, within, your, like, your daily routine and all that. And then just, just saying it. Because other people just, like, put stuff out there for New Year's, mm -hmm. New Year's resolution sometimes. But it's just, like, just implement that into your daily, like, You know, actually, like, a reminder for yeah. it. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. every day have a little alarm or something. Mm -hmm. or... Yeah, for sure. It's yeah. a nice thing to do. I always forget my news resolution too. Like as soon as people start mentioning, I'm like, oh, yeah. dang. I have to write it down. That. That's half the reason I don't like yeah. make one because I always I like forget day forget two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you yeah. said that I didn't even think about mine. Yeah. So you know what? I was just think about it as you were speaking. What I'm gonna yours? make it right now, uh, all right, uh, live right? in front of all of you. I'm gonna live. announce it for the first time. Are you supposed to do that, is it, or is it like Go one ahead. of those things There's where you can't wait or There's won't no come true? Just no, it's okay. just whatever. All right. yeah, you, it's good to tell people. Out. I think I think this is a good one. Is a okay, are ready for this one? Oh boy! So I got engaged last year. Okay, um, but the thing is, we never made a wedding date. You know, we don't have a wedding so, date. So your resolution is to make a wedding date. My Resolution is to get married. It's gonna score some points with Kylie, I think. So, all right, my resolution is to get married this year. Okay. That's my resolution. That's, that's, that's a pretty. No, what, no what, I'm gonna get married this year too. Oh, <laughs> all right, nice. Okay. Way to one up me, Jackson. No, I'm gonna get in the to Harvard and get married. I will not <laughs> only marry one person, but two people. What this year? <laughs> Kylie, I will yeah, only marry one, up, one, one person this real. year, and that will be you. I will not one up Jack on that one. Oh I will marry two people this year. Can you, can you do that? Don't. Legally? You no, can't. not legally. <laughs> no. <laughs> you divorce. Just, yeah. So did you uh, celebrate Hanukkah, Mr. Brew? Yeah, eight crazy nights, yeah. Eight crazy nights yeah. of Hanukkah. Yeah, it was great. I yeah. just love the transition. <laughs> What's that? I just love the transition from that to like, hey, do you celebrate Hanukkah? <laughs> yeah, I just love So just what, is, what is your, um, what consists <laughs> of, uh, like, what... What makes up a Hanukkah celebration? Not much in the brew household. What? Um, Is it just an extended, like, holiday <laughs> yeah. celebration? Yeah. Yeah, I got some gifts, and I I bought some gifts. Yeah, nice. you know. Yeah. I'm not big on gifts. Yeah, I don't I don't want to get gifts. I don't want to buy gifts. I don't. I wish the whole thing would just cancel out. I just, we could all just enjoy. But I just really asshole. enjoy all the Dang, holiday sales. Like, everything's on sale. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all about, you know, it's all marketing, you know. That's why. That's why yeah, I get really I down uh, during the holidays. I don't really like the holidays for that reason. It's all. It's all about marketing. Economic yeah. scandal. The corporations well, just want your money. I get into all that. But, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we had you know we so we light the menorah. Yeah, the menorah. We have a menorah in, in in my house, and I also did one at my parents' house as well. We lit some menorahs, and that was good. And uh, I just realized I have to clean my menorah out. See, you don't realize that. You don't. See, you don't know how bad that is because you don't right. celebrate Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. You don't. None of you celebrate Hanukkah. No. See, you all are very lucky. You do Christmas, right? You yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do you Christmas. You just take the Christmas tree down, right? No, no we, if, if we're not lazy. We keep it up. <laughs> oh, you do? Cause yeah. I no. still got my menorah up. You know I got clean. You know how some pagans are lazy? Like they yeah. just keep it up until like next year, and then oh, they that's take smart. It. There are people that <laughs> oh, never yeah. get rid of their Christmas like decorations. Oh, oh that's gosh. actually really smart. I, like, smart, take but ever to take mine. It's not I didn't take my like Christmas decorations down to like 
June. Like, it, June? They, we just, like, left Same. us. Why didn't, we just yeah, you should have just kept it at that point, right? <laughs> at, the, at that point, we should have just kept it for, like, the whole entire year, just, like, not even what do, you do with it again. What do you do with the tree? You just throw it out. Well, you just no, we, we almost save it. keep it. Yeah, Usually, we, we save uh, it for like next basement. year or for us. When oh, you do? We have yeah. a f- I have a oh. fake Christmas tree, so, like, we just kind of, like, dismantle it. <laughs> yeah. I'm you have, like, some train that goes around the tree. No, you don't go I have ornaments, and, like, we have, like, a bottom, like, rug that goes around the tree. It's a struggle. Sounds so fun. Like, I never got to do any of this. I'm very jealous of you all. It's like like a struggle to have the real Christmas tree because, like, I have one. And, like, we have, like, to always, like, water all the time. And Mm -hmm. one time Mm -hmm. we were taking the tree and we brought it into my house. Mm -hmm. It, like, scraped the whole entire ceiling because it was just so, it was so tall. (laughs) Because my dad likes to go big above and beyond when it comes to, like, Christmas decorations. So he wanted the biggest tree. You know, our ceiling is not that high. Mm. So he wants to go put it in and scrape, like, the whole roof. He had to cut it, and it just looks so botched. Yeah. And to, like, take it out, we had to, like, sc- have little screws in at the bottom for it to hold up. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, it's, it becomes so messy. Especially once the tree starts to, like, die a little bit. Like, the little um, pieces of, like, pine and all that, they just fall, and it mm. creates a mess. It people- looks pretty. It smells nice, but mm. it gets messy. Yeah, That's like, I've had a real Christmas tree before, and it's smart work. Like, trying to clean it up and, like, take it down. Mm. It's just so much easier. You just go to Target, you just buy a menorah. Picture. It's it's like twenty bucks, and then you, the, that's it. You Place throw it out or clean it out. I, I gotta clean mine out. I just remembered that one. <laughs> I clean. Have an alarm for that. What's that? She have an alarm for that. Yeah. And we eat potato pancakes. They're called latkes. Oh, I had, I had Shout some. out to Miss Schwader. I, I had some. Miss Schwader. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Miss Schwader brought latkes. Oh, did she? Yeah, she did. Did she they give you applesauce with yep, it? Yep, they were applesauce. That's I think the traditional apple thing. Sauce, the applesauce and the potatoes is kind of weird, but, you know, it's like, okay. How does it taste like? I'm curious. It's okay. Did she tell you the whole story about the oil, the the meaning behind the oil with the potato pancakes? That's why we cook them, because the miracle of Hanukkah, the oil lasted for eight days. That's the the whole story. The miracle of Hanukkah. Yeah. And the the dreidel, the gambling. Uh, Is it gambling? The the dreidel game is... Christmas? It's a gamble game? Yeah. It's it's gambling. It's basically gambling. Not in my household. In your household? Yeah. You guys had... More fun than we do, then, I guess. <laughs> I mean, at my, Not that we my Christmas, Christmas celebration, we just play poker <laughs> for like you about four days. Puerto Rican's Christmas. Yeah. I didn't realize there's so much uh, gambling and holidays. No, I didn't know. I honestly <laughs> never made that connection with the dreidel and gambling. I don't think that. You know, some people do, like, for. Hmm. I know sometimes, like, usually it's like, oh, just a kid's game, but you have, like, pieces of the candy, but some people will legit just make it gambling for money and stuff. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's pretty yeah, weird. a lot more Jewish than I am. She knows more about this yeah. stuff than I do. So. Yeah, my family, um, I mean, I don't participate, but the adults, they um, they just gamble for change. Like, they play poker. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's fun if it's just for change. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just for quarters. change. It's not like they're putting yeah. 20s on the table. No. No. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> anything else? Let's transition off the gambling stuff. Well, we don't want to endorse gambling. It's not a good thing, right? So do you guys see the same thing every year? For Hanukkah? Yeah, and I mean like for Christmas and stuff. They're just holidays. Yeah. Like do you always see the same thing? Don't you get tired of that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I always see really the boring. need and rice and beans when it gets tired. Really? Tiring. That yeah. sounds good actually. Yeah, but it gets tiring because I can have that like any other day. I was going to say like... Yeah. That's yeah, 90% sorry. of our diet. <laughs> yeah. There's something nice about, like, driving around town, though, on, like, Christmas Day, and everything's, like, pretty much closed. Did you I go like to New York part. for What's that? Christmas? I mean, did you go to New York, like, um, during the holidays or Christmas or something? Not this year. I do I do normally go, and it's it's usually, like, mob there, especially if you go to, like, the tree at Rockefeller Center. It's crazy. But, no, I didn't get there. Did anyone travel? Go I wanted anywhere? to go, but I couldn't go. I was working. No? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad. I wish I would. I mean, does Connecticut count? I went to Connecticut. That doesn't count as traveling, right? No. It's, it's still it's, it's, it's in another state. <laughs> you, so. you live in Connecticut, so. South Windsor. <laughs> Go but Bobcats. But it is really nice, though, to drive around. <laughs> to drive around What's that? During, to drive around during the holidays. That's definitely, like, one of my favorites, at least, to, like, drive around. Drive around, like, the nice neighborhoods with, like, all the lights up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I do that, too. And so old decoration. And wish you lived there. there. Yeah, it's, that's what I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never really understood that. What? The driving around to look at Christmas lights. It's nice. I, I, I do it. I'm not even a Christian. Yeah. I love I, it. I, I didn't love do it much, but it was a nice thing it. to do. I mean, like, I already drive to, like, to get from place to place. So, like, I, I never understood, like, just going out to drive. It's a really negative way of looking at it. Especially, like, holiday <laughs> yeah. spirit, you know? <laughs> I and mean, you, like... I, and I even put the Christmas songs on, like, 94-7. You know how they play, like, 
full Christmas song. Well, like, I play Christmas I, I love it. It's great. Like, the way I never just, start doing that in September. Like, I never just go out for the sake of looking at Christmas lights. Well, it's never like... Well, I do. Yeah. Just it's romantic. Like, you should start. If you have like a boyfriend or girlfriend, it's like romantic to go and see them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like usually I'm never like driving like specifically to a place to just go look at lights. Usually we're doing something else and it's like, oh, hey, you want to go with like bright lights or something like that? We just go. Mm-hmm. It's always like really cool to like set in the mood for like Christmas and all that. Just like play Christmas songs and all that, like mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Just like the mood of Christmas is good. But on Christmas Day, I just feel like it's like any other day. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Honestly, like it, just, it didn't even feel like Christmas this year. I don't know if it's like I'm getting snow. older or yeah. No, it did it, snow. It, that was it a reason. It barely snowed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's too bad. Yeah. It snowed on Free Kings. Ironically, though, we noticed that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, okay, we made up for it, guys. <laughs> well, let's, uh, before we end, we, we do need to talk about some some sad news, but, you know, we're also very happy for him and his future. We wish him the very best, and we're, we, we, we're going to miss him a lot. Dr. Zreich is going to be leaving at the end of the school year. Oh, I've heard of and, that. And uh, that's an announcement that, that he made. I saw on social media. <laughs> He made that announcement shortly before the holidays and let everybody know and wrote a really, be- really long, beautiful letter. And, and uh, we're going to miss him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been, I got to say, he's been very, very supportive to me personally. And I just want to thank him for that. I haven't spoken to him in a little bit, but, uh, you know, I um, probably like a few months. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Zreich. He's been like super supportive of me. And um, this is not the first district I've worked in, but it's the first time I've ever actually spoken to a superintendent, and it's the first time that one's been supportive of me. And as a teacher, I gotta say that's that's tremendous. It means a it means a lot. It really does. So thank you, Doctor Zreich. We're gonna miss you. Yeah, he's a good guy. I don't know him, but I wish him the best. <laughs> I don't know him, but I just heard really good yeah, things about him from teachers. Yeah. He's done yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. He's done yeah. a lot. Yeah. All positive things. Yeah, I only heard positive things about him. We're, we're heading in a great direction, and, yep. it's, and it really is thanks to him. So thank you, Dr. Strike, for five great years. Anything else before we end? Mm, I'm How about right those now. Patriots? <laughs> Why would you bring that up? <laughs> hey, I am a, I'm a oh Patriots boy. fan. Boy, if, you, uh, if you tape the game and you still haven't gotten around to it, sorry if we're going to spoil it for you. <laughs> I mean, you know what, you know what I really dislike? People that just go out there and just rag on the Patriots. Like, they, they just have this vendetta. I feel like there's a bandwagon against the Patriots. <laughs> and, like, popular. I think it's, I, I wouldn't say despicable, but I think it's sad to just have, like, such a strong hatred. I couldn't agree for more. For someone. Mm-hmm. I couldn't agree For more. someone so successful, yeah. or, like, a group of people so successful. Let me teach you something about just, life. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to the top, mm-hmm. they're always going to try to drag you down. Don't let that discourage you, Jack. I'm not a big football. Not of you. Not, you. not a big football watcher myself, but you know, I don't enjoy going on social media to just see people celebrating because the team lost. Like, I would much prefer to see people like celebrating because it was the Titans they went against, right? I would much prefer to see people celebrating <laughs> because <laughs> the Titans won rather than seeing people celebrate because Patriots lost. You mm-hmm. know, that, again, yeah, that's what yeah, happens. It's exactly. like. Well, LeBron James, I think, is different. I just don't like him. He's just not a good person. But uh, you know, every you know, Whoa. when you're on top, when you're on top, yeah, people always try. <laughs> yeah, I, d- I do. I, I really don't like that man. But anyways, um, no point. what's that? No, when you do like, a whole a hour-long decision about yourself episode on ESPN Live to announce something that takes five seconds, you know, Fair that's point. why I don't like. Yeah, he's got a, got a little bit of an ego. A little yeah. bit, yeah. Um, I don't know why everyone's trying to to bring the Patriots down. They've, they've done a lot of great things. It's too yeah. bad. But, too you know, bad. we just got to look forward to next season. Yeah, next year. We've got four great teams in this, pro teams in this area. Five, if you include the Revolution, so I do. So, yeah, we have a lot of great teams here. And we'll, I'm sure we'll be better yeah. next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we got it all in this, this week. We got yeah. sports and we got holidays. We even talked about Judaism. That never happened. So, hey, how about that? Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, what's that? No, we just talked about a lot. No. We talked about a lot. We, we cover a lot. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that like button as well. What else? Uh, ring the bell. All that YouTube stuff. Comment, and, comment, comment your comment thoughts. Below. Mr. Is, 
Comment Mister. your thoughts. We want comments. Yeah, yeah we're not cents. like those people that put the comments off. We, have, we leave the comments on. Yes. Yeah. No, ring the bell. For notifications. Well, some they say ring the bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One or the other, it doesn't matter. <laughs> is that, what is it? Notifications? Yeah, notifications. Put your notifications on and ring the bell. And uh, <laughs> we will uh, see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. All right,